some Houston news. This old building, the Second National Bank Building, is set to become a JW Marriott later this year. But the old tower underwent a much cooler change in 1923. The first air-conditioned building in Houston was the Second National Bank. It was a big, tall, ambitious skyscraper for Houston at the time. Then the Majestic Theater, one of the Main Street movie palaces, got air conditioning. And by 1927, all of those downtown movie palaces had air conditioning. It was what Houstonians did in the summer. And from that point on, air conditioning slowly transformed the Bayou City. By 1937, the Chamber of Commerce magazine, Houston, did an article on air conditioning. And it was thrilled to report that there were 427 buildings in Houston that were air conditioned. It really took off after World War II. When you had air conditioning, you started seeing more apartment buildings. You got low-slung suburban houses, which were easier to air condition. You had Foley's downtown, which was built with no windows. By 1961, you had the first enclosed mall, which was Sharpstown Mall, which completely changed not just the way people shop, but the way suburbs were developed as well. And then the Astrodome sort of was the crowning achievement for air conditioning. And suffice to say, Houston wouldn't be Houston without the advent of air conditioning. Just ask the man responsible for maintaining this AC, which has been cooling the Esperson building since 1938. It is the oldest working air conditioning system in the city of Houston of its particular type and design. Um, when air conditioning was added, I think that was probably the, the threshold of you know, the, the great southern cities being developed that we have today, because it just wasn't feasible prior to that. For Houston Public Media News, I'm Edel Howland.